Test, test. Hey everybody, this is Keevan at Bluegrass Waterfowl Farm. Just like to say, if you don't care, to please hit the like and the subscribe button down there below to get all of our videos. We really appreciate it. Test, test, test. Hello? This is Keevan. Bluegrass Waterfowl Farm. <clears throat> I was going to do a little video on them to talk about some uh, brooders for the ducklings. Um, inside my brooder building so i got an echo going on here in here no oh, mercy it's uh i think it's like about 40 degrees outside so i'm 55 in here right now i've just been in here a few minutes got a little heater running warm it up a little but I just want to talk about some brooders. I got several different, well, several, I said I got four right now, but I'm going to build some more. But this is the style I got right now that I like. These are made out of uh, three quarter inch plywood. And they're different heights. This one is for like the bigger ducks, probably like your shell ducks and ones like that. And then some of the, this one's not as tall. Let me clean it up and put the mandarins, teals, wood ducks, everything in there. Uh, this is an old chicken brooder I had. I use it sometimes. It, has a piece of uh, linoleum, I think, in it. But it was made for chickens to throw shavings in it and clean it out. We got a little door here, open up, drop down, rake everything out. But I use it for the ducks sometimes if I have to. I put some uh, a piece of uh, outdoor carpet in there. That way they can get traction, and they'll just take it out when it gets dirty every two or three days and spray it off. Uh, these I like these. I'd like to get some of the. I can't remember how you pronounce them. The I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> some of them uh, the white plastic. I think they are brooders, the nice ones, but uh, everybody can't afford like $300 a lick for a brooder. So I'm using these for right now, but I like these because I can go to a tractor supply and get the uh, rabbit trays. That's what this is. And they just slide in and out take it outside, spray it off with the water hose, or slide it right back in there. These got the coated hardware cloth. It's a half inch, yeah, half inch, by 24 by five foot rolls. I think I got these at the uh, Lowe's. And I just use these lights. We put off water size bulbs you want to put in there. Basically, I only use like a 75 watt bulb most of the time. If it's real cold, when I have uh, ducklings in here, I got some heat bulbs. 
like these I can use. These are 100, 150 watt. But the only water that's in here is, uh, where's it at? Right here. I use these waters. I use these gallon waters. <clears throat> Fill them up every morning so they're not splashing the water up on the light bulb so we don't have to worry about it busting the light bulb because I'll keep our water sitting over here in the, on this end away from the lights and then put a feed bowl in there but we used these all last year well this past season we used all these and I had great luck out of them and uh, you can see on the tops I got the screen like a screen door that you'd use I ordered it and just stapled it around that way it doesn't get air and helps keep the uh, flies out and so I got this old, this is an older brooder I had back when I raised a bunch of chickens too. It had, uh, just had a regular hardware cloth in it. That's what I'm working on out here right now. I'm ripping it out and I'm gonna put this coated wire back down cause it's a, Seems like it's easier on the duck's feet. This one's got a metal, this one's just got a metal tray that I had made. Slide in and out on it. But I'm fixing to, I don't know, here, next few weeks maybe. If it stays weather permitting, I'm gonna try to build a one more of these like this maybe two more and then these i just buy these lights at walmart like this i think they're four or five six dollars and attach them on the inside this one ain't got the shield on right now i was needing some light to see what i was doing but i just hang them down so you can adjust them up and down, how much heat you want. This is our setup that we did this past season. Like I said, everything worked great. I'm not saying it's perfect by no means, but it does work. But I just wanted to show you a little bit about our brooders and what we did. I'm gonna go ahead and be taking this out and get ready to put the coated wire down. So we'll be back in just a few minutes. Test, test, test. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, we back. Uh, we got the old bar all ripped out of the brooder. I'll uh, throw it out in a scrap pile later on. And then we got the coated bar in. Got it stapled down. Let's use staples. They seem to work pretty good. Let's use a little handy dandy stapler. And staples. These are the, you can get a couple of different kinds of staples. Always get the sharp pointed ones. 
that way they'll pen penetrate down through the wood a little easier. And then sometimes you might have to take a hammer and just tap them on down in there a little bit. But this was an old chick brooder and we put the coated water in it and we can use it use it this coming season for some waterfowl. Uh, if anybody was wanting to know or not, I don't know. But anyway, I measured, I forgot how, what size these was and I measured them. They're three foot long from the front to the back and they're 32 inches across. This one is uh, 12 inches deep. It looks bigger than that on camera, I know, but this one's 12 inches deep and this one was 10 inches deep. So I'm gonna try to make another one here in a few weeks, probably, weather permitting. But this is just our brooders and this is how we brood our baby ducks and everything usually works out pretty good. You can, like I said, you can put different size, different wattage bulbs in there for more and less heat. The uh, one thing I like about the screens on top too, is if it is real cold a few nights, that uh, you can take a newspaper or a piece of cardboard and lay over top of this to hold more heat in. And this little heater, I think I got this, my wife bought this at Walmart, like 20 some bucks. You might laugh about it, but hey, it works pretty good out here in this building. My building's uh, 12 by 12. And you noticed earlier when I just come out here, it was 55 degrees. We've been out here about an hour or so, and it's uh, 64 degrees in here now. My little, this is my little duck catching net. If I need to catch them out of the brooder. It was a uh, landing net for fish. And I took the actual netting off from it because it had the big holes in it. And my wife bought a, uh, I think it's a laundry bag, they call them maybe, at Walmart. And cut it down and sewed it up and made it fit my landing net. It works out good. That way it's got the small holes in it so they don't get their toes hung in it. But anyway, I just wanted to show y'all my brooders and how we go about brooding our baby ducks. Any questions or comments, hit me up. I'll answer them best I can. That'll be it. Thank y'all.